the 100. Taking a look at Scoregolf's top 100 Canadian courses. Watch the official release on July 19th right here on TSN. As the unveiling of the top 100 Canadian golf courses of 2014 approaches, we take a look at some of the most memorable moments of the last 25 years of the top 100. In 2012, 40% of the courses on the list were designed by just three people. The legendary Stanley Thompson, who passed away 60 years ago, remains Canada's greatest golf course architect. Thompson holds the record with 15 courses on the prestigious top 100 list of 2012, five of which come in the top 10. Number seven, the stunning Fairmont Banff Springs Golf Club, located among the mountains of Alberta. Number six, Cape Breton's Highlands Lynx. Number five, Capilano Golf and Country Club in Vancouver. Number four, and best public course in Canada in 2013, the Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge Golf Club in Alberta. And his best, according to our panel, is the five-time home of the RBC Canadian Open, Toronto St. George's Golf and Country Club, ranked number two on the top 100 in 2012. After the Second World War, we saw the end of a golden age of course design in Canada, and architect's business was relatively so for the next 40 years. Thompson has had a lasting impact on the industry. Almost every Canadian golf architect that's designed a course in the last 100 years can be traced back to Thompson in some way. Including the two Torontonians that are currently leading the way in course design, Thomas McBroom and Doug Carrick, who were both trained under Thompson associate Robbie Robinson. McBroom has 12 courses on the top 100 in 2012. Designed in 1988 Beacon Hall Golf Club in Aurora, Ontario, a collaboration with American Bob Cup is his oldest course on the list and is top ranked in 2012, coming in at number 8. Other notable courses that McBroom has designed are Tobiano in Kamloops, BC, a public course that sat at number 10. Number 16, the Lynx at Crowbush Cove. 24, Ovenbird. 27, Rocky Crest. And at number 58, Deerhurst Resort with Bob Cup. McBroom's leading competitor, Doug Carrick, had one more course in the 2012 Top 100 courses than he did. However, out of Carrick's 13 courses, only one ranked in the top 10. Coming in at number 9 was the stunning Muskoka Bay Club, designed within the hardwood forests of Muskoka and featuring dramatic elevation changes and breathtaking views. Although we had fewer courses in the top 10 than McBroom and Thompson, Carrick tied Thompson with eight courses in the top 50. Included in that list is the 22nd ranked Grey Wolf Golf Club, number 25 Predator Ridge, number 26 Eagle's Nest, and at number 28 Big Win Island. We want to know what you think. Is the great Stanley Thompson underrated? Do modern architects match up to the greats? Tweet us using the hashtag SGTop100. These three architects, plus others such as Harry Colt and Willie Park Jr., have paved the way for course designers to come. See how they stack up against each other in the 2014 Top 100 Canadian Golf Course Ranking, airing on July 19th, right after the completion of the third round of the British Open here on TSN.